gotta have a first aid kit yes. for all of those owies, possible owies that you may have, yes. especially when you're traveling with kids. Because every time you look up, somebody's gonna need a band aid. It's also a great idea to have some type of air freshener. Now we have a solid air freshener that keeps the um, room smelling fresh at all times. But in addition to that, we also have some concentrated room spray uh, from Bath and Body Works. So if something just gets stinky at a particular moment, you can give it one quick spray because it is very strong. And then you can make sure that the room stays as fresh as possible, especially when you have a room with multiple people and it's smaller. Germs are still a thing, y'all. Please keep some wet ones and some hand sanitizer with you at all times. I always keep a small can of Lysol spray, and I also have the big one to spray every surface down when we get into a room. If you are traveling with little cruisers, please make sure to pack some of their favorite snacks. Here I have some of his animal crackers as well as the fruit and veggie packs that I keep on the go in case he's ready to snack. It's a must to keep all of your devices charged. I have a cube device that holds two traditional outlets and three USBs to keep everything charged and ready. It's a must to bring a medicine bag. We've got Mucinex, Tylenol, Benadryl, Ain't no fussing with the Tussin, Robitussin, Tylenol for the adults, sinus meds for the adults, eye drops, children's Zyrtec, Pedialyte for hydration, a thermometer, and baby or gel. You never want to get caught without medication because a visit to the medical center can be very expensive. Please don't forget sunscreen. Nothing is worse than peeling skin and burns after a long day in port. Make sure you have a nice hat to keep the sun out your face. For small children, I do recommend noise canceling headphones. It does help greatly when it comes to takeoff and landing so that their ears do not pop. Next, you wanna have a good beach bag. Uh, you wanna make sure that it's something that has multiple pockets, big enough to hold beach towels. And then I also like to make sure that at least uh, one of the compartments has a zipper, so if you need to put like your wallet or if you're traveling and you got like a wedding ring or something like that, um, something that you can put it securely in without it uh, coming out if the bag accidentally tips over. Next, you want to make sure that you have a luggage scale. Now, uh, Southwest is the only airline that currently uh, allows free bags. But uh, whether it's Southwest or not, all of the airlines have a weight limit. So you can take this with you. Uh, you can even use it before your trip and you basically hook it on the handle of the luggage and you pull up. And then this will allow you to uh, weigh your luggage to make sure that your bags are within the weight requirement for the particular airline of your choosing. Next up is towel clips. You want to make sure that you keep a set of these. When you're sitting down and coming back from the ocean or from the pool, that towel is going to move. These towel uh, clips will keep everything in place. And it also helps the towel to dry when you're going back and forth between the water. A lanyard is also great to have. Um, some people just prefer to keep it in their pocket. But if you're uh, one that wants to know that uh, it's always on you at all times. You can put your sale and sign card here in this compartment and then wear the lanyard on your neck. And then this particular one I like because you can also hook your sunglasses on it as well. If you're like me and you're always wanting to catch pictures or footage in the water, then you absolutely need a waterproof case. Um, they have cases based off the uh, size of your device and they definitely keep uh, them nice and sealed uh, so that no water enters and ruins your phone. Two must-haves for me are um, luggage tag holders. Uh, now, these uh, two are specific for the cruise line. You will put these on um, when you're getting ready to embark on your ship. And uh, the cruise line gives the, uh, not the cases, but they give you your luggage tag 
to put on. And instead of it being stapled onto your luggage, these are nice and secure so you know that they don't come off. And then the same type of rings that are on these tags come on these as well. And for these luggage tags, these are more so just as a some type of identifier uh, that you know uh, which bag is yours. Um, so, I mean, of course, someone else could have these as well. Um, but just something uh, so that you know it's your bag. It has an opportunity um, for you to write in uh, your uh, address. Uh, personally, I just put my phone number and my email address as my main point of contacts on my tag. But it's just something to help you uh, decipher which bags are yours. And then also, if in an, in an emergency that your bags are lost, they know how to reunite you with your items. You saw this in an earlier clip uh, where I was talking about being able to charge your devices. But this is a uh, fan that you can charge uh, through USB. And if you are traveling with a little one, uh, it's good to have it. It's got like a watch style uh, hook so that you can hook it on the stroller. And let's face it, the Caribbean gets hot. Um, the fan can help to cool off your little one. Or even if you're an adult and you just want to hook it to your wrist, uh, you could do that too. But it's USB powered and then you can uh, keep cool when you're out on port. I live by packing cubes. They are so essential to keeping your clothes organized and they also assist with saving space in your luggage. Um, if you have the opportunity, please purchase these. And also, if you want to get a little fancy, get everybody a different color so you know who's is who's. Now, most packing cube sets do come with a shoe bag. But if you don't have packing cubes or you have more shoes that can fit in the shoe bag, my pro tip, grab some disposable shower caps. Put them on your shoes. That way, the bottom of your shoes are not touching your clean clothes. Magnetic hooks are a wonderful item to have while cruising. There is limited space in the cabins, and these are great for hooking up hats, um, towels, or even swimwear, and things that you want to hang up so that it's out of the way and decluttering your room. Again, cabins are small, and if you're sharing a cabin with multiple people, things can get stinky when you're going to the bathroom. Trust me, you're going to want this couple sprays down the toilet before you use it smell be gone now once the lights are off those cabins get dark especially if you're in an interior cabin you can get one of these from dollar tree uh, one of your local stores that way you have a little bit of light especially if you have to get up in the middle of the night to go potty next you're going to want some wrinkle release spray and a tie to go pin now the wrinkle release spray helps to get those wrinkles out especially after things have been folded into a suitcase and it also gives it a nice little smell too and then that tie to go pin in case you get a little stain throughout the day after eating lunch or dinner you can use this very quickly and then you also have the opportunity to not have to go back and change clothes i hope that these items will be helpful for you if you're preparing for your first cruise or if it's your first cruise with kids, I hope that this will help you too. Even if you're a seasoned cruiser and you don't have some of these items, I hope it helps you as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also click that notification bell so you know when I post a new video. Until next time, bye.